Jupiter Ascending is an upcoming epic space opera film written, produced, and directed by the Wachowskis and marks their return to original screenplays in the genre of science fiction since the conclusion of the Matrix trilogy. The film's plot centers on Jupiter Jones, a lowly, down on her luck janitor who learns that her great genetic destiny has far reaching implications that extend beyond Earth. Supporting cast member Douglas Booth has described the film's universe as a cross between The Matrix and Star Wars, while lead actress Kun has named its underlying themes as indulgence and consumption. The human desire to constantly indulge in everything, and consume more than you can provide, whether that is food and nourishment a euro, or information and superficial items. The film is co-produced by Grant Hill, who acted as executive producer on The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions and as producer on V for Vendetta, Speed Razor, Ninja Assassin and Cloud Atlas, making Jupiter Ascending his seventh collaboration with the Wachowskis. Several more long-standing Wachowski collaborators since the creation of The Matrix films have contributed to the picture, including production designer Hugh Baitop, visual effects supervisor Dan Glass, Visual effects designer John Guetta, supervising sound editor Dane Davis and costume designer Kim Barrett. Other notable past collaborators include Speed Razor's composer Michael Giacchino, Cloud Atlas director of photography John Toll along with its editor Alexander Berner and finally hair and makeup designer Jeremy Woodhead, who worked on both. Plot synopsis, set in a future where, unbeknownst to Earth residents, families of alien royalty own planets for business purposes, the House of Abrasax has been ruling all known life in the universe for millennia. When the matriarch of the Abrasax family dies, her children Balaam, Calicum Titus are at war over the air. Eventually a new heir comes to their attention. Jupiter Jones, an unsuspecting earth living, and lucky caretaker of other people's homes. Jupiter encounters Camewise, a genetically engineered interplanetary warrior, who came to Earth to reveal that her genetic signature makes Jones royalty and heir to Earth. Meanwhile, he has to protect her from Balaam, who put a bounty on her head and would rather harvest Earth than lose it to Jones. Cast, chaining Tatum as Kane Wise, a genetically engineered ex-military hunter. Kane is a defective genetic splice, half albino and with both wolf and human DNA. He has a tremendously powerful sense of smell that allows him to track a gene through the universe. Tatum had to wear a mouthpiece to change the shape of his lower jaw, which prevented him from closing his mouth and gave him trouble when he had to talk. Before casting Tatum the directors queried him not only about whether he was up to the challenge physically but also about his personal belief and life experience with what love is. Myla Cunnies is Jupiter Jones, an unsuspecting, unlucky. Earth-born janitor whose genetic structure marks her as royalty and the heir to Earth. Cunnis describes her character as unhappy with her job and life, but also lazy and with no aspirations to do anything about it, until Kane finds her. Sean Bean is Stinger, a hand Solo type character. Stinger is spliced with BDNA which gives him some of their characteristics, wings, speed, special vision and a sense of loyalty. Stinger was in the military with Kane but when Kane got into trouble and Stinger stood up for him, his wings were removed and he was exiled to Earth. He lives a normal life on Earth along with his daughter, who he describes as the only good thing he's done in life, until she falls ill and in need of a special nectar. Eddie Reed main as Balaam Abrasax, alien royalty whose family engages in the planetary business, trading in youth serum. He is the elder of the three Abrasax siblings and serves as the main antagonist of the film because he wants Earth for himself. Douglas Booth as Titus Abrasax, Balaam's brother. Booth describes his character as a bit of a playboy mentioning his spaceship, as described in the script, is a cross between a gothic cathedral and the playboy mansion. Tuppence Middleton as Calic Abrasax, Balaam's sister. She approaches Jupiter and befriends her but like her brothers she has ulterior motives. Banaduna in a small role as a bounty hunter. James Darcy in a small role shot in three days. Tim Piggott Smith, David Ajala as Ibis, the leader of the cyber hunters pursuing Jupiter and Cain. Charlotte Beaumont in a small part as Stinger's daughter. Terry Gilliam in a small but vital part in a scene that is in homage to Gilliam's Brazil. 
Gugum Bather Raw as a half human, half deer genetic splice. Sarah Campbell as Jupiter's gynecological nurse. Kid Gurry, Edward Hogg, Nikki Amuka Bird, Luke Neal, Production, Development. In 2009, Warner Brothers president Jeff Robinoff approached the Wacko Skis about creating an original intellectual property and franchise. Development began two years later, with the production and visual effects teams doing pre production work based on the first draft of the script, while the Wacko Skis were shooting the future segments of Cloud Atlas. Production design, Producer Grant Hill and visual effects supervisor Dan Glass note the Wacko skiers never repeat themselves. Hill describes the design as an original take on the look of space environments while Glass mentions it was influenced by cities around Europe rather than science fiction touchstones. Examples include Renaissance architecture, modern glass and Gothic art. Filming, the film is a co-production between the United States Warner Brothers. Pictures in Australia's Village Road Show Pictures. Roberta Malerba and Bruce Berman serve as executive producers. Principal photography commenced at Warner Brothers. Studios, Leavesden on April 2, 2013. Filming also took place at Ely Cathedral in England. The production remained in the London studio through June, then moved to various locations in Chicago, Illinois throughout late July and August. Minor reshoots to clarify plot points took place in January and early May of the next year, the latter of which took place in Bilbao, Spain. This is cinematographer John Toll's second feature film he is shooting digitally, using a Realixes and Codex recorders, after Iron Man 3, in part due to the visual effects element. Legend 3D is handling the stereoscopic conversion of the film, having recently integrated the Mystica post-production software into their pipeline. An eight-minute long chase sequence, codenamed 52 part by the film's crew, depicts Jupiter and Kane fleeing from aliens and spaceships in downtown Chicago shortly after they first meet. It was the longest sequence in the script, involving some of the film's most difficult stunts and in order to complete it Cunnies and Tatum had to film parts of it every single day for six months. Effects Several of the film's effects rely heavily on practical stunts instead of CGI. Chaining Tatum has noted there was minimal use of digital doubles and instead most stunts were done by the principal actors or stuntmen attempting to match the previous sequences. For the scenes of Tatum's character flying using anti-gravity boots, Glass reveals his team invented a way to utilize stuntmen instead of doing them digitally, despite the limited available time to shoot them. They created a rig of six cameras, called the Panokam, which was mounted on a helicopter and covered nearly 180 degrees of the action. During post-production the directors could combine the overlapped filmed footage, essentially creating a camera that could swing around the action independently of the helicopter's actual flying path. The invention piqued the interest of other directors who have subsequently utilized it in their own movies. Visual effects vendor Frame Store utilized Vicon T40 cameras for pre and motion capture purposes, the same camera system they used in the visually acclaimed Gravity movie. Music The film's music will be composed by Michael Giacchino, who also scored the Wacko Skis a Euro unregistered trademark 2008 film Speed Razor. On June 10, Giacchino tweeted that Ludwig Wicki was conducting the film a Euro unregistered trademark S score at Abbey Road Studios in London. In August, Giacchino stated, a Euro OEWE a Euro unregistered trademark re actually recording all the music first, before their Euro unregistered trademark re even done shooting. Eat a Euro unregistered trademark S been done sort of backwards, and eat a Euro unregistered trademark S much more freeing doing it that way. E a Euro unregistered trademark M not locked down to any specific timings and what the film is doing. I can do whatever I want. It opens up a lot more possibilities a Euro the Wacko skiers first used this approach during production of Cloud Atlas at the recommendation of co-director Tom Tyker who has made all his movies this way, and have since commented they will never make a movie without recording the music first. Release the film was initially set to be released on July 25, 2014 but it was later shifted up one week to July 18, 2014. On June 3, 2014, 
the film's release was delayed to February 6, 2015 due to additional time needed to complete the over 2,000 special effects shots of the film and prepare an effective marketing campaign. References External links Official website, Jupiter Ascending at the Internet Movie Database, Jupiter Ascending at Rotten Tomatoes